Hello friends, welcome. Friends, yesterday TRA came out with the telecom subscription data of 31st May 2025. So friends, I have been always saying from the beginning that the TRA telecom subscription data is full of many nuances. Whatever it tells you, you know, from the face that this operator has gained, gained so many subscribers and this operator has lost so many subscribers, it is not the total story. It is not the absolute story. You have to read between the lines. For that, you have to triangulate data from various other section of TRI's report in order to understand whether an operator has gained subscriber and whether an operator has lost subscriber. Because all subscribers are not equivalent. For example, M2M. Those subscribers, though they have gained, but it does not result in that much amount of ARPU. So friends, what I am going to do in this, in this video is to give you a deep dive on what actually happened. Because the newspapers, if you see the newspapers, the articles would be that Reliance Geo has gained, Bharti has gained this much, Vodafone Idea has lost, BSNL has lost subscriber, like that, right? So this report, which is the conventional way, of looking at the whole thing is right in front of you. This is the conventional way. So if you look at, from a conventional point of view, if, if you look at the TRI's report, this is the total subscribers. And you will be able to see the total subscribers in March 2024 was at this level, which is 1.1199 billion. That went up and then it kind of went down and then it is rising slowly to the same level what it was in March 2024. So the first thing is that wherever we were in March 2024, 1.199 billion, now we are actually at that same level, right? So almost like more than how many? 15 months. 15 months have taken for us to reach this level, right? So this is one story. The second story is that Reliance Geo has gained, the total subscriber has gained 3.98 million, 4 million subscribers. Bharti has gained only 0 0.37 million subscriber. Vodafone Idea has lost 0 0.27 million subscriber and BSNL has lost 0 0.18 million subscriber, right? So this is the kind of story which you will find in the newspaper. But we will dig down a little bit deeper and I'm going to show you that how to look at this report and how to analyze the number. So let's look at from a wireless point of view. Right? Let's look at from a wireless point of view and see what the numbers look like. Now, if you do wireless, you will see Reliance Geo actually has gained 2.7 million. Bharti has gained 0 0.28 million. Vodafone Idea lost 2.7 million. And BSNL has lost 0 0.14 million. Now, let's look at wireline. Let me just do wireline. Now, from a wireline point of view, you will find it very strange. Reliance Geo suddenly has gained 1.28 million subscriber because earlier the number was 0 .0, 0, uh, 0 0.34, right? So these numbers are what? These were basically fixed wireline subscriber, optical fiber, all this. Now, how did Reliance Geo gain 1.2 million subscriber in just one month? That's the question that the viewers will be asking, right? And I'm going to give you the answer. Bharti has gained 0 0.1 million subscribers. Vodafone is almost like flat and BSNL has lost 0.05 million subscriber. Now, the reason Reliance Geo has gained subscriber, wireline subscriber is because a certain portion of their FWA subscribers have been moved to UBR, which I have been saying from the very beginning. So Reliance Geo now has how much, uh, how many FW, FWA subscribers under 3G and how many under uh, uh, UBR, which is Wi-Fi based, uh, you know, technology running on 5 gigahertz band. 1.03 million. So you will find friends, before we deep dive into other portions of the report, let me take you through the FWA part first. This is the FWA, FWA dashboard, which I have created in Tableau. So if you look at FWA, you will find that the total FWA subscribers in January, from where the TRA started reporting was 5.7 million. Then it rose to 6.2 million, then 6.7 million, then 7.44 499 million now it has dropped to 7.3 million right that is how it looks right so reliance geo was 4.8 million 5.2 million 5.5 million 6.1 million and 5.8 million so if you look at the incremental because that still tells the story so operators have been adding roughly around 500k 0.56 million 
in February 25, then 0.5, so roughly around 500k. And in April, they added around 0.73 million, which is around 730k. And now they have lost FWS subscribers. How much? 0.1 million, right? So Bharti has been consistently adding roughly around 160k to uh, in this month. So if you see 160k, 160k, 160k. Now this month, Bharti has added 180k. Reliance Geo was consistently adding 0.39k, 0.33k, 0.57k. Now they have lost 0.29 million, right? on FWA because this is because of the bifurcation. Now, percentage of total will tell you the story. Airline Geo actually had 84.74% FWA in January. Bharti had 15.26. Then what happened was Reliance Geo, you know, uh, lost certain subscribers uh, in the market share. So it becomes 83.51, 82.31, 81.89. Now they are at 71.17 and Bharti has now at 20.83, mainly because of this UBR thing, which Reliance Geo has lost, right? That is why the FWA numbers tells the story. So the bottom line here is, if you look at the FWA, the latest FWA numbers, which is right below, down below here, you will see that Reliance Geo now from 6.14 million now is at 5.8 uh, yeah, million, out of which roughly around 1 million is... Uh, is um, on UBR on 5 gigahertz, which means 15% of their overall FWA subscribers is now at Wi-Fi based subscribers, not at 3G. So I have been saying this, you know, that if you are doing UBR, it is important to classify those subscribers in a different category, which I think rely with which DRA has been able to force the operators to do, which is the right thing to do. For example, if 26 gigahertz band, which is an IMT band, is going to be used by UBR or LBR which is Wi-Fi based technology, then it can't be classified as 5G FWA, which I have been saying from the very beginning, looks like the TRA has heard my voice. And because of the classification, this number has gone down from, if you look at the total FWA number was 7.499 million. Now it is 7.395 million, right? That's the storyline, which is very clearly, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, coming out from this, these numbers. Now let's go to a different flavor of this story. Now, what is that? Let me show you what I what I mean. So this is the story about M2M. M2M is very, very important to understand because the operators are all adding the M2M number, which is resulting in their subscriber increase because the total subscriber, which you see in my uh, website, this is the, this is the uh, chart, the total subscriber. So you'll find that, let me just go to total subscriber first market absolute so you see that sorry let me just make it or uh, make it wa wireless because that is the way to look at it so the total subscriber is 1.161 billion out of which reliance geo is 475 million bharti is 390 million and vodafone idea is 204 million and uh, bsnl is 90.8 million now this number includes m2m so whatever numbers are getting added in m2m is reflecting in this growth, which means the other subscribers, which are revenue generating subscriber, postpaid, you know, uh, individual subscribers, corporate subscribers, and prepaid subscribers, those numbers can be extracted by netting out the M2N number. And that is very, very important to see. And let's look at that, how the subscriber growth has been impacted because of the M2N number. Now look at this. Reliance Geo added how much? 2.7 million subscriber in month of May. Now let's look at the M2M story. How much M2M subscriber they have added? Reliance Geo, sorry, not this is F, this is FWA. So M2M increment. Now if you look at Reliance Geo, Reliance Geo added only 0 0.79 million M2M, right? So if you subtract this number from this number, 0 0.79, roughly 2 million they have added. Because assume that M2M is netted out because those subscribers are not that revenue generating, right? Now look at Bharti's wireless subscriber. How much they have added? Bharti. Bharti has added, uh, you know, from an M2M point of view, 2.86 million. Imagine 2.86 million in the month of May, which means Bharti has lost wireless subscriber. How much? 2.86, roughly around 2.9. This is 2.3, right? So they have lost how much? 2.6 million wireless subscribers they have lost. It is clearly evident that Bharti's growth 
of wireless, which is revenue generating wireless subscribers, actually is not increasing at that particular rate. If you consider the M2M story, look at this, Bharti's M2M, you can pause the video and have a look at it. Bharti in June, they, you know, this is what, this is incremental. They lost 0.3 million subscribers, then they actually added 0.7 million, then lost 0.5 million, then added 0.3 million and 0.64 million in month of October. And then suddenly they added 2.94 million and the number went down. And now it is like on an uphill path, which is 0.86 million, 0. Uh, sorry, uh, not 0. 2.86 million and 2.46 million, which is have to be netted out from Bharti subscriber growth of 0. 0.17 million and 0. 0.28 million right in the month of April, which means Bharti has been losing subscribers. This is not giving the right picture because the M2M has to be taken into consideration. Now, if you look at Reliance Geo, Reliance Geo's number looks like that they have been gaining subscribers because Reliance Geo's M2M subscribers, if you look at it, it is going like this. You can pause the video and I'll look at it. And then it is in the roughly around 500K or 600K. And then this year it is, this month it is 800K. So 800K is the M2M number of so Reliance is concerned. So if you, uh, if you, if you say the wireless 800K minus we roughly around 2 million, which I was making, uh, you know, 1.9 million. Now Vodafone idea has lost 0.27. Now let's look at Vodafone ideas M2M. It is, they have gained 0.29, which means Vodafone has lost roughly around half a million subscribers. If you take the M2M out because M2M 0.29, 29 million has bumped up this uh, this um, this rate of decrease or reduced the depressed this rate of decrease now this is 0 0.27 million so it's very important so friends those who want to just you know analyze this data a little bit uh, closely you can pause the video and look at this number right and then you go to this chart you can in my website because i have not uploaded the mtm uh, chart in my website and then you can look at this now look at the bsnl thing now, BSNL is losing subscriber. They have lost how much? To uh, 0.14 million. And let's look at from a BSNL M2M point of view. They have gained 0.08 million. So, BSNL has lost more than 0.14 million by this amount, 0.08 million. So, BSNL is losing streak, right? Now, in order to get a flavor as to how the M2M subscriber numbers are growing in the market, 52 52.31 million and then 52.31 million, 52.52 uh, million, and then it kind of is now ramping up. Now it is 79.9, uh, uh, 73.9 million. So from a percentage share point of view, if you see, Bharti was 54.75%, now it is actually 54.32%, right, from a market share. Vodafone Ideas M2M subscriber, 27.39, it has gone to 22.75. So who is gaining M2M subscribers? Reliance Geo from 12.22% uh, from a market share point of view to 18.31 and BSNL has lost from 5.64 from a market share point of view to 4.63%. Uh, so this is the overall story, friends. So just to summarize this story, the first headline is that, let's go to the total. We have hit for the first time, we have breached for the first time, or actually, uh, yes, uh, for the first time, the number of subscribers, total subscribers, which we had in March 2024, that number has been breached this May 2025, this March number. Second is that RGO has gained 3.98 million. This is the total, including the UBR. But if you take out VVR and you go to wireless, then this number is 2.7 million. But if you subtract the M2M, this number is roughly 2 million. Bharti, this number is 0 0.28 million. Now, if Bharti, if you just uh, consider M2M, they have been losing subscribers, right? So, uh, Vodafone Idea, they have also losing subscribers because they are adding M2M. So, this dip of Vodafone Idea has to be added on top of it by adding the M2M numbers. BSNL is kind of flat. So their M2M numbers are very low. So that doesn't really matter. Right. So as regards wild line is concerned, it has been very clear that the uh, Reliance Geo has roughly around 
15 percent of the subscriber roughly around one how much they mentioned in the report so if you go here this is mentioned here in this report uh this number is how much uh 1.03 million ubr which is 15 percent of the total fws subscribers of this number let's let me show you where is this number this number of reliance view is 5.8 million so 15 percent is on 5 gigahertz band and rest is on 3.3.5 gigahertz band and when they do lbr this number ubr uh, the uh, the wi-fi based number will keep on increasing right so friends that's the overall picture from an overview point of view right so if you look at the number from an overview point of view but if you want to deep dive on a circle level uh, then you have to go to this dashboard of mine which gives you a tel indian telecom operators Indian telecom operator circle by subscriber distribution market share. I will not spend much time on this. This is the May 2025 number. This is the same 3.98 million. And then you will see that uh, this is the same number, right? And uh, Vodafone Idea has lost 0 0.27 million. And, and this is the same thing. Only thing that you have to go it, you have to go to the switch view, view two. If you go to switch view two, you will be able to see the distribution so you can pause the video and have a look at it you can see that where the subscribers have been increasing and where the subscriber has been decreasing this is bharti this is bharti this is reliance geo this is vodafone idea and this is bsnl right the bsnl looks like have lost some huge number in delhi right and this is the overall incremental growth so this is this is incremental for both wireline as well as wireless so if you do only wireless <clears throat> then the story is what it changes so i'm going to just <clears throat> give this a chart for the sake of people who want to pause the video and have a look at it this is bharti this is reliance geo this is vodafone idea and this is bsnl right and if you do wireline again i am going to just um you know show you uh, 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 for those viewers who want to have a look at this number like in this form like this right vi and bsnl right so that's all friends in this video i hope that you like this video and you understood the nuances of how tri make uh, you know does this reporting act, act, absolute numbers should not be taken as face value because you have to take into consideration those nuances because now what has happened is fwa has been considered at the part of wireless and the ubr based fwa is now considered part of wireline thank you friends for your time and um, thanks for listening to the end and i'll come back with a new video uh, on a new topic next time thank you very much for listening and and thanks a lot